What's going on? Johnny here. So this video is about you having fun and seeing me create this weird, crazy story. And that's because you're going to be learning all the planets in our solar system based on their distance from the sun. So the planet closest to the sun is going to be the first planet, and that's Mercury. So you might know all the planets, you might not. But share this video with anyone who doesn't know the planets, because they're going to learn all the planets in a fun way. Now, there's only eight planets currently. Back in the day, it, it used to be nine, because Pluto used to be an uh, no, original planet, but now it's just a dwarf planet. And so the method I'm going to use in order to learn this information is the story method. Now, a recap on the story method is this. So the story method is based on connecting pieces of information together through a story. But also, the order that the images appear in the story represents the order of the information. So the first image represents the first piece of information. The second image represents the second piece of information, and so on. And so that's the method I'm going to be using, the story method. So I guess without further ado, let's get started and get ready to follow along and picture my crazy weird story I'm going to create out of all the planets. So the first planet is Mercury. And the setting I'm going to have is space, you know. So I just see the empty vastness of space. Now, mercury makes me think of a thermometer because they used to have mercury in thermometers. So I see the sun, and the sun has a thermometer sticking out of it because apparently it's getting its temperature taken. So that's what I see, okay? The sun has a big thermometer. But then the second planet is Venus. So for me, Venus, I think of a V-neck shirt. And so I see this thermometer come out of the sun. So this thermometer is alive, so it gets out of the sun and see this V-neck just floating through space and so it grabs a v-neck and just rips it up because apparently it didn't like the v-neck style so the thermometer is very fashion sensitive <laughs> so the next planet after venus is earth okay earth and so what i'm going to picture for earth is just a globe the globe of earth because that's what i instantly think about and so <laughs> and so all of a sudden you hear some crying and you look and you see the Earth, this globe, crying because that because the V-neck was the Earth's V-neck. And the thermometer just ripped it up. And so the Earth is really sad and just crying about it. <laughs> so, so the next, I know it's weird already. So the next planet is Mars. Now, I think of a Martian. So like an alien, you know, Martian, Mars. And so to continue the story, so, you know, the Earth is crying, but all of a sudden... This Martian starts to eat the globe. I guess he's just hungry. There's no food on Mars, so he starts to eat the globe. Now Earth is screaming. So it's crying and screaming because it's being eaten alive by this Martian. And so and so the next planet is Jupiter, which is right here. Okay, Jupiter. Now when I hear Jupiter, um, I the I hear the last part. Jupiter. Pater. Jupiter. I think a putter. A putter. Okay? And so uh, so this Martian is eating the globe, and all of a sudden, th this Martian gets knocked out by a putter. A putter comes in, you know, maybe at the speed of a bullet, and hits the, the Martian head. And so, and so that's what I see, okay? <laughs> and so we're going to move on to the next planet, which is Saturn. Now, when I see Saturn, I see Sat, okay? And I think of Snorlax. So this is what Snorlax looks like. So he's a Pokemon. And so he's big, and so that's what I think about, because Snorlax is just always sitting down. He used to block the road in the Pokemon game. And so that's what I see. And so, going back to the story, who threw <laughs> the putter? Snorlax did. This Snorlax was sitting here tossing the putter at the Martian to save Earth. And so, this Snorlax is really proud of himself, because he saved Earth. He feels like a hero, and because he knocked, knocked this Martian out by throwing a putter okay and so the next planet is Uranus now right away you can know there, there's many things you could picture I'm gonna keep it um, you know PG type and so I'm gonna think of a butt okay just a butt and so um, to continue the story you know Snorlax tossed the putter, and he's so excited and so happy that he decides to moon everyone. So he shows his butt, and he moons the, the universe. He moons space just because he defeated the Martian, just because he tossed the putter and knocked the Martian out. And so that's what I see. 
which is just weird because I never would ever have thought about, hey, how does Snorlax's butt look? Um, so the next planet after Uranus is um, Neptune. Now, when I think of Neptune, I think of um, you know, Poseidon because of you no know, um, same god. And so I see Neptune uh, from the Little Mermaid, Poseidon, however you want to call him. That's, that's who I see. So he has a trident. I know he's like mermaid looking person. And so to continue the story, so Snorlax is mooning everyone. But Poseidon doesn't like that. He gets offended, so he gets his trident and stabs and stabs Snorlax's butt. He's like, Boop! no, none of that in my universe. And so he stabs his butt with his trident. And so, you know, technically that would be an end of the story because that's all the planets. But you know what? I want to include Pluto. Pluto needs to get included. And so to add the story to add to the story, Pluto, I think of um Mickey's dog, Pluto. And so beside it, it's st- stabbing his butt. It's Snorlax's butt. But all of a sudden, Pluto grabs the trident and starts to run around the solar system while Poseidon, while, while, excuse me, while Neptune chases him around. And so that is the weird, crazy story in order to remember the order of the planets based on their distance from the sun. Now, hopefully you pictured it and just saw how weird it is. And know the images probably helped you so you could picture a lot easier. And so all you have to do to recall the order is start with the first image. So where did the story take place? Yeah, it took place in space, right? Okay, what was the first thing? Oh, yeah, the sun had a thermometer coming out. Yeah, thermometer. Yeah, Mercury. Mercury is the first planet. Oh, yeah, then there was this V-neck, and then the thermometer ripped it up. Wait, V-neck? Venus. Venus, all right. And so you just go through recalling all the different images, then translating the images back into the information. Now, the order, like I told you before, is in the story. So the first image is going to be the first planet. Second image is going to be the second planet. And the third is going to be the third planet, and so on. And so, you know, you see thermometer, Mercury, that's the first thing, first image. So that has to be the first planet away from the sun. Yeah, a V-neck. V-neck, that's the second image. That has to be Venus, the second planet. Oh, yeah, I saw this globe was crying. And so that has to be the third planet because that's the third image. And so you can see how it's just built in. And it makes it really easy and really fun. And, you know, I wish back in the day when I learned the planets, I did it this way. You know, it's a lot more fun because I'm pretty sure I just, like, you know, said it over and over again. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. You just keep saying it over and over again until it's in your memory. But this is way more fun seeing weird images, seeing a globe cry because its V-neck got ripped up by a thermometer. Would you ever have thought of that craziness? I never thought I would have to picture that in my mind. And so, you know, I just love creating these weird stories. And, you know, people can also just learn information just by watching this video. Go through the story and, you know, just picture it. Boom. Then they learn that piece of information which is just so amazing. And so I totally love this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, share it with people so they can learn the planets in the solar system um, if they do, don't know it already. And, you know, and just subscribe so you can stay tuned to Everything Memory and so you can keep hearing and seeing these weird, crazy stories I create. I'll see you next time.